Hello, Naga fans. Hunter here from the HAA Studios Company, and I am reviewing on one of Nickelodeon's first three Nicktoons created by Arlen Klasky, Gabba Supo, and Paul German. Rugrats. So, what are my thoughts on this show? I gotta say, that show is one of the greatest granddads of Nicktoons. And boy, did I even have such great memories by watching these awesome babies, and even Reptar. And I had a great chemistry with Tommy and Chuggy as they're being part of the Nicktoon family, along with Angelica and the other supporting characters. Rugrats originally aired on Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, Teen Nick, Nick Rewind, Nick Jr., CBS, and currently streaming on Netflix, Hulu, Pluto TV, Disney Plus, and Paramount Plus. The show begins with the main characters who are the babies. Tommy Pickles, Chucky Finster, Phil and Lil DeVille, and Angelica Pickles. First, we start with Tommy and Chucky. They're a great duo, as they're one of the first Nicktoons duos next to Ren and Stimpy. They're both voiced by E.G. Daly, Chucky's voiced by the late Christine Kavanaugh, and Simpsons voice actress Nancy Cartwright. Phil and Lil are both voiced by Kent Susie. As the voice is familiar, she does a lot of cartoons over the years. Angelica Pickles is voiced by none other than Cheryl Chase, and she still has the same voice in the reboot. And let's not forget about the supporting characters. Dylan Prescott Pickles, Kimmy Wynabby Finster, along with Susie Carmichael. Dill first appeared in Nickelodeon's first animated movie, The Rugrats Movie. Kimmy first appeared in the sequel, Rugrats in Paris, the movie. And Susie first appeared in the season 2 episode, Meet the Carmichaels. And let's not forget about Tommy and Chucky's favorite dinosaur, Reptar. He first appeared in the season 1 episode at the movies. And here we have Tommy's dog, Spike. Tommy loves Spike very much. He is such a great and playful Siberian tiger hound, and always there for the babies, even for the rest of the Pickles family. Now let's talk about the specials that they had in the original series. We have A Rugrats Vacation, Runaway Reptar, and All Grown Up. Then the writers of the original series decided to let ah, real monsters cross over with the Rugrats in the episode, Ghost Story. It seems Ickes, Oblina, and Crumb met the babies for the first time since they're both made by Klasky Supo. Now let's get to the films by Paramount Pictures, Nickelodeon Movies, and Klasky Supo. The Rugrats Movie in 1998, Rugrats in Paris, the movie in 2000, and the crossover movie Rugrats Go Wild in 2003, featuring Bruce Willis as Spike and the Wild Thornberries. After the series ended in 2004, they had two feature-length specials as part of the series known as Tales from the Crib. The two specials are Three Jacks and the Beanstalk and Snow White. Some episodes have a little dark subject matter, while others are sad, like the time Chucky remembered his late mother. Here we have the sequel series, All Grown Up, and the spin-off series, Rugrats Preschool Days. All Grown Up used to air on Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, and Teen Nick, part of Nick Rewind. And as for Rugrats Preschool Days, it used to air on Nick back in 2008. On May 27th, 2021, Klasky Supo brought the series back for Paramount Plus and Nickelodeon in the Paramount Plus original series of the same name. Rugrats was so successful, it has earned video game adaptations for PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation 2, and Nintendo GameCube. And as for the rights, there is a lot of crossover games that Reptar and the Babies were included in. So what do I think of Rugrats? I'm definitely going to give this a solid 10 out of 10 because this series is such a classic in my book and has a lot of classic moments to remember from. Well, that concludes my review on Rugrats, and I hope all of you guys enjoyed it. But if you all like or hate this show, I can handle all of your opinions as long as you handle mine. This is Hunter from the HAA Studios Company signing off, and see you in the next review, salute, or rant. Goodbye, Noggin fans. I had a feeling it would end like this.